Welcome, guys, to another episode of The Candy Show. I am back. You already know. Guess what? We are at the Red Curb Improv Comedy Club. We are here in Indianapolis. Actually, it's located in Avon, Indiana. Eh, little little ways outside of downtown Indianapolis. But we're going to make sure we get you that location. But, guys, we have another special guest. Now... I'm going to do something different that I didn't do with the other guys. I'm going to allow for him to introduce himself. Because sometimes your guests can introduce them a little bit better. So, okay, guys, you ready? Take it away. I want you to welcome my guest. Uh, Hi. <laughs> I'm just Will. I do spoken word, poetry. I just started my comedy journey. Um, born and raised in Indianapolis, and it's an honor to be here. But thank Some, you. Thank somebody cares about what I have to say. Oh, well, thank you so much for gracing the candy show. Not a problem. You said you just started. Comedy, I did. Okay, tell me, how long ago? Like, less than six months ago. Oh, wow. So you were a virgin kind of newbie. Yeah. Oh, wow. Tell me a little bit about that. How have you been, what are your responses from your audience? So I, I, I've been getting pretty good responses. Um, so the thing is, I've always been a fan of comedy. And they say that comedy is the cousin of poetry. Like when you're performing poetry, all you have is your microphone and your audience. And so it's very similar as far as the, the setup for it. And uh, so it's all storytelling, you know. And um, I have stories. <laughs> uh, my age and my experiences and my children. And there's things that I have to talk about that's funny as hell. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that because it is funny. That I have seen your face around here before. So you were doing some poetry before. Yeah. Okay. Now, now I do poetry. I've been doing poetry for about 20 years. Nice. And so, but I just, like I said, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a student of comedy. So I've always, I used to write jokes for other comics and things like that, but I never had the urge to do it myself and until uh, recently. And then I just went for it and so far it's it's going pretty well it's i'm enjoying it you saw your family and your friends think that will is funny tell me they, they haven't seen me but the people that have seen me think i'm funny so some of my people came out tonight so i'll get some feedback tonight but um the the last show i did was in where was it in uh mishawaka indiana so some of my some of my family was out there but not not many but I got some laughs. Okay, well, I'm glad you just mentioned that. Where where else, in, other than Indianapolis, have you performed? Have you been on the stage and blessed the mic? Um, now, are we talking about comedy? Are we yes, talking we're about talking poetry? about comedy. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so, um, where have I, that? So, I've done, so like in Fort Wayne, there's a comedy club in Fort Wayne, and I used to mix. I would kind of use the jokes to set up my poetry. But now it's just more comedy focused, so I haven't I haven't done a lot of comedy shows. Um, just like I said, when I say no, this is really fresh for me. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Okay. Have you had any dead space yet? Any booze? No. Okay. No. How do you how do you feel like you you approach that if that happens? Um. So the the things that I talk about. It's almost impossible for it to stay dead. Um, so even even if you don't think it's funny, you still there it get some type of reaction out of you because, like I said, I talk about marriage. I talk about like recently. I just found out that I had some twenty three year old twins. Oh, oh like, my gosh! Like real real recent, less than a year ago. Yeah. Oh. Wow. So I worked that into my set. Okay, so a lot of stuff you're going to be talking about is life-based. I love like it. Like with a lot of com comedians. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about what is your favorite comedian. Who's your favorite comedian, male or female? So I would say probably who I think is probably the best is probably Dave Chappelle. He's probably who I think is the GOAT right now, but... Um, I like, I really, really like Dion Cole. Um, he's got a different type of approach to his comedy that you don't see out of a lot of other comics, but 
Um, yeah, it's probably probably those two. Those two are probably my top two right now. Wow. Okay. So, are you going to be doing a little bit of poetry too? And and are you going to incorporate some of that? So I did. I did today. I did about a, maybe a thirty second piece of a poem just to get their attention, and uh, and then I went into my my set. And do you write your material? Do you go off the cuff? Do you just just come in there? No, I, I write. I'm a writer. Okay, so, that's right. You did say so that. So just by by default, and because I am a student of of comedy, um, I'm real big. Like I advocate for writing, which that's like a pet peeve of mine. Is because I feel like if people pay to see you, you should prepare for that. Like that's the least you can do is hone your craft. And so to me, when people don't write, and it's not that everything has to be written, there can you know, but if you don't write jokes, to me you're it's like Aretha Franklin's not great go in the studio and just make up a song right now. <laughs> You well, know. you know what? Now, some people can come off the cuff and just impromptu and be like, well, you know what? I like that. I'm going to go record that. And, but they're going to memorize it, which is the same as writing it. You know what I mean? So so it, the thing about writing is it doesn't have to literally be written. It just has to be worked. So when I come and see you perform, I can get that same set or the same jokes or the same song or whatever it is. So even if it is a freestyle the first time, it shouldn't be a freestyle the second time. You especially know. if it worked. It, especially if it worked. Now, we're here in Indianapolis, and you're from Indianapolis. Yes, born and raised. Ooh. I love my city. I do, too. But you know it's hard. It is. It's hard to it make is. it up out of here in Indianapolis. It, it is. Oh. It is. We're in the middle, though, so it's not hard to travel. Okay. Well, I like your spirit. You're like, you know what? It is hard, but I'm going to make it. Yeah. I'm I'm. I'm a... As far as, like so as far as the the poetry goes i'm 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 fairly well traveled as far as the poetry goes um so I know that there's and there's and there's more venues for comedy than it is for poetry. It's a lot easier to get money doing comedy than it is doing poetry so yeah, I'm optimistic about it. Well, I appreciate you making sure you're representing for Indianapolis. Yeah, I love my That city. town, that town, that town. All right. So I know that we only have a little bit more time left. Um, have you, <clears throat> how does your family and friends, are they like, dude, I don't want you to say anything like that, please? Do they even kind of say, hey, I don't want you to put my name in your jokes? They haven't, they don't know. They They haven't seen me. So but they, see, but see, even though they haven't seen you, so they the, know, right? Well, they know that I'm doing comedy, but they don't know. They have no idea what I talk about or how I, you know, what I what I give to the audience. So nobody's trying to stop me because nobody has any idea. Now, at some point, <laughs> they will. Um, but most most of my material is about my wife and kids. Like, really, and I have counting the new twins. I have ten kids, so I have a lot of material. Ooh. What? Yeah. Ten. Well, okay. Now, some of them are stepkids, but, okay. you know, they mine. So. I like that. I like that. All right. Well, tell everyone what you have coming up next and also how they can book you, follow you, and so, all that good stuff. Um, all social media platforms is uh, Just Will Poetry. Um, I have a – actually, everywhere, everywhere as far as the social media goes. Um, and I have music with my poetry and and music on all my stream all the streaming sites for uh, music. And then um what do I have next? Um I'm not I don't have anything booked for comedy on the calendar. I'm doing a private event Sunday in Cincinnati. Um but um what what I will say is that uh I have a a monthly event called the Greenhouse Effect. It's just an open mic. We've been running it for about 12 years, 12 and a half years now. And uh yeah, if it's on on social media, you can find it on all all social media. It's uh the Greenhouse Effect and it's spelled A F F E C T. And uh so any artist interested in coming and perform, you know, uh, you just come, you sign up, you just, it's easy. It's not, it's not a lot of technical things you, to just come in and sign the list and you, you getting on the mic that night and it's all genre. So we got 
We get singers, we get rappers, we get comedians, we get poets. We've had magicians, um, wow. yeah, dancers. It's you name it. Well, I'm all for a platform that's showcasing talent, especially here in Indianapolis, Indiana. Will yes spell the just will because I know sometimes people drop the T yeah. or only do well. One there is L. no T. See, and so, that's the reason why I told you to. So spell it's it. lowercase J U S space capital W I L L, and that. <laughs> So my birth name is Will, not William, not Willis, not Wilbur. It is Will. So hence, just Will. Yeah, oh, I like that. Awesome. Okay, well, guys, you already know what time it is. Unfortunately, we got to go. You already know the routine. And if you don't, let me tell you, make sure you are following the official Instagram page, and that is Candy Talk Show. And subscribe, 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 okay? Subscribe to the YouTube page. That is capital C with the number two of the end, Candy Productions 2. Guys, we are out. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye.